And uh, also, I guess there's some uh, recent big news, right? Got engaged. Yep. Yeah, got engaged last Sunday. <laughs> so congrats on that, man. That's a, that's. Thank I remember you. talking about stuff like that, you know, in undergrad and stuff, you know, on walks and things like that. So that's pretty, pretty big news. Um, in regards to uh, you did a couples match, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, how is that process like? Like, is it just like a thing you you click off on um, when you're applying, or how, how, do you have? To- it was, you know, it is stressful. Yeah, yeah. So you, it's like an extra twenty five dollars to like match as a couple. You when you apply through the NRMP website to register for the match, um, that's that's all you have to do. And then when you're going down your rank list, um, you basically each create a list individually. So like. Like for us, like if number one was New Mexico, we would both put that. Number two, we would do Arizona and mm-hmm. so on and so forth. So technically you're still submitting individual lists, but then when the algorithm runs it, um, it, it makes sure you both match at that same ladder. If not, it moves down to the next one. Mm-hmm. And do you feel like it increases your chance of getting into a spot um, or do you feel like it doesn't really uh, make a difference or maybe makes it uh, more challenging or is it, more beneficial like if one applicant has like a really high stat to boost the other one up how do you feel um it kind of plays out yeah i think it one depends on the specialty a lot i think with like for me i am and then my fiance pediatrics like that's a relatively good combo because there's we're both primary care specialties that have a lot of different programs throughout the nation but like if someone was doing like a like a dermatology and i am like couples match or something i think it could be more difficult if the dermatology isn't as highly sought after as far as being a strong applicant, but the I am applicant stronger. Um, Mm -hmm. I think you would want, you would want whoever's applying for the more competitive specialty to be more competitive, obviously. So then the couple has a higher chance, but I think for us it worked out pretty well. Like sometimes if she got an interview invite, but I hadn't heard from that program, I would email them. And then within a few days they would invite me as well. So Mm -hmm. I think they looked favorably upon us, which was fortunate. Mm-hmm. How is it like um, dealing with relationships in med school? And then um, uh, I know we talked about uh, relationship stuff before med school uh, a little bit. Uh, how um, how is, do you recommend having like a, a medical partner? Because some people seem to think that it could be beneficial because you can share experiences and like commiserate on things, things like that. But sometimes it seems like it could also be um, hard for you to like distance yourself from medicine. So uh, how's like the the dynamics of like being in a medical partner relationship and uh, you recommend it and um, well obviously <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> I'm biased <laughs> a little bit and then um, uh, how do you kind of recommend uh, maneuvering around maybe a relationship in med school or even residency um, how are you preparing for that since it's very time demanding um, what are your thoughts on that I think the big thing comes down to obviously like what your partner is like. Um, and obviously like as you're together during your med school years, you kind of get engaged for not only their personality, like in the classroom and like as a medical professional, but like their personality outside of it and who they were before uh, they joined medical school. Uh, so I would look for, you know, how compatible are you guys just based on what you do in your free time? Can you completely disconnect and just enjoy an evening off together and, have a great night, like watching a movie you guys have been meaning to see or going out and enjoying a new restaurant. And I think, I think it speaks to the strength of the relationship. If you can kind of tune it out as much as possible, obviously it's not 100% doable. Like you guys are obviously like in the same class or maybe like one class above or below each other. So like med school talks going to seep in just because, you know, it's a big part of your life. But I think, um, I think just keeping an eye out for, um, for how well your relationship works outside of just the field of medicine itself, as far as like what your hobbies are, um, you know, what your families are like and the personal values you have that just extend beyond your professional careers. And then I think, I think one of the biggest pros obviously is like, since you're both so time constrained, then you, you both and that you know maybe instead of having like five or six nice like you know the other partner isn't you know questioning anything or um like not as happy because they think you know you're not devoting your time to them so i think moving forward in residency it'll be good to hopefully coordinate our calendars and like once we have our schedules for the month you know just pick like one or two nights at least a month that will commit to just 
having it be just the two of us and um, kind of go from there. So the relationship gets the time it needs.